है एवरी वन आई होप यू आर सेफ एंड डूइंग गुड सो मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन मैम सजेस्ट सम गुड बुक्स फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर सी सी प्लस प्लस पाइथन जावा डी एस सी एंड अदर सब्जेक्ट एज वेल सो आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज द फर्स्ट दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दैट सीरीज एंड इन इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वट आर सम गुड बुक्स फॉर जावा यू कैन से फाइव बेस्ट बुक्स बुक्स फॉर जावा and why java because um, uh, in my mastering dsa with java course recently we have completed java and this weekend we have started data structure so that's why i just want to recommend that i have gone through so many books for java while preparing that course and uh, so according to my recommendation according to my you know, you know experience i'm just going to tell you those best five books okay if you want to check out my course you can go to uh, my website jennyslectures.com and you can check out so the very first book for java which is a good book very good book one of the excellent book for beginners is head first java by kathy suera it's really a very good book why this is a very good book because it's very interactive kind of book you will not get like bored and they will explain every concept with real life analogies it focus more on the logic behind java concept rather than just the syntax there are so many visuals so uh, it's of inter- it's very interactive you will not get bored it's for beginners so step by step while explaining every concept they related with real life example so that you get it easily so that is the beauty of this book i guess and it is having so many exercises hands on learning with so many exercises are there after end of every chapter you will like learn by doing right and uh, there are so many questions as well maybe in your mind this type of question can arise so already you will get at the end of that chapter that question and answer of that question with explanation so yeah it's really a good book and it covers like i have third edition the latest one and it covers from java 8 to 17 till java 17 so it covers the basic as well as those advanced features multi threading design principles and uh, networking in a simple way but sometimes you feel that some explanation are little bit informal sometimes but it's not that much it's really good good book for absolute beginner right and but it's not a reference kind of book so you can not treat it as a reference book okay so you can go for this really it's the the best book next one of next good book is java the complete reference it is definitely the reference book as the name suggest so here you will get a detailed explanation in depth explanation of everything with lots of examples like by herbert shield it is both for beginners and experienced programmers if you are a beginner you can go for this if you are a intermediate level programmer or you have some experience with programming you can also go for this right it covers the latest version of this i think uh, the latest is a uh, 13th edition so that covers till java 21 so it's a long term use till java 21 all the features this book cover but if you have the previous version like maybe the previous 12th or 10th version that will also work if you are in a college and uh, in your library you have that book it's fine you can go for that but if you you are planning to buy this book so go for the latest version so that you get till java 21 okay so it is it's really good book but sometimes you feel that if you are a beginner absolute beginner you don't know anything so some chapters are um, too much in detail it's too dense for absolute beginner but i think for me it's i think it's a it's a good point if you love reading book and if you can understand the concept from a book then books are really i mean very good for you books book should be your friend if you are that kind of person so don't go for like i would recommend don't go for any tutorial and all go for books if you are the one who can understand from book because books are like treasure of knowledge you will get so much so much of things from book so much of knowledge that you ca- can't get in any uh, youtube or any video kind of thing so make a habit of uh, develop a habit of reading from book so if you are the one this is more of like a, uh, you can say there are so, not so many visuals it's not so much interactive like we have head for java so that is kind of maybe you can say it's a drawback kind of thing for this book right it covers every aspect of java everything in detail with many examples so i would recommend definitely if you need a reference book go for this these two books are really important if you don't want to go any other book head for go for head for java by kathy swera and this reference book this is this will be treated as a definitely reference book and that is not a reference book right 
नेक्स्ट इज जावा अ बिगनर्स गाइड द सेम ऑथर इज द बाई हर्बर्ट शील्ड इट इज नोन एज लाइक समटाइम्स नोन एज ही इज जावा गुरु सो इट इज द सिंप्ली सिंप्लीफाइड वर्जन ऑफ द कंप्लीट रेफरेंस सो इट इज ऑल्सो द वेरी वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बुक फॉर बिगनर्स ओके इट इंक्लूड सो मेनी एक्सरसाइजेज प्लस दिस सेल्फ टेस्ट क्वेश्चन आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ एवरी चैप्टर सो दिस इज रियली यू कैन सी द हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट इट्स नॉट जस्ट द थ्योरी पार्ट बट प्रैक्टिकल ऑल्सो एंड द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ दिस आई गेस द नाइन्थ वर्जन आई एम नॉट श्योर इट कवर्स टिल जावा सेवेंटीन सो इट्स गुड एंड इट इट इज बिगनर फ्रेंडली यस इट इज बिगनर फ्रेंडली यू कैन गो फॉर दिस इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर दिस कंप्लीट रेफरेंस गो फॉर दिस वन so it start with the basics covering the basics and steadily move to the advanced java topics but uh, those advanced java topics are not covered in deep in this book so as the name suggests suggest it is like beginners friendly so yeah you will get a systematic and structured well structured example approach if you are absolute beginner you can go for this book next next good book is effective java by joshua block you know he is a you can say it's a java expert it's this book is written by java expert he was a like um, java architect at sun at sun microsystem if you have seen uh, any sometimes those libraries or the already written java classes then you will get there so many things were updated in this version and this code is written by joshua block i guess the author is joshua block for that code so uh, he was a java architect at sun microsystem so it is written by java expert but the thing is it is not for absolute beginner if you don't have any prior programming knowledge if if you haven't written any program it's not for you if you have some knowledge of programming previous programming knowledge then you can go for this book so it is basically not for the those absolute beginner but those who are having some prior uh, programming knowledge it is the best book for those okay so we can say that it it covers it covers the best practices for writing efficient um, efficient java code maintainable java code high quality java code it focuses more on coding style it provides practical real world coding examples and uh, basically this book is good for those who are preparing for interviews and for real world java development real world java project huh? if you are working on those it is the best book for you so if you have a little bit knowledge of programming and you want to write the high quality code then definitely you can go for this book definitely if you want to improve your coding style go for this book but if you are a complete beginner and you want that step by step explanation from the very first topic in java the basic of java how to write this code how to run how to compile like this kind of thing don't go for this if you have a little bit knowledge of this you can go for this this is the uh, you know the best book for that next is thinking in java This book is also not for absolute beginner. If you have a little bit prior knowledge of programming, go for this. So, uh, this book focuses more on like the oops in Java is covered in depth in a great depth in this book. Thinking in Java, it's more of like a story kind of book. Okay, so you will get in depth theoretical explanation in this book. So, if you enjoy those theoretical explanation, long theoretical explanation rather than those diagrams, visuals, and practical kind of thing. then you can go for this book this would be really really good book for you okay it gives you like how basically java works under the hood so it will give you conceptual clarity okay why why things work rather than how so it focus on more that i really love this book because i always uh, if i read any anything else i always ask these questions why so i want answer of why so that's why if you are that kind of person go for this book this is this is you can say one of the best so i've told you na here you will get more of theoretical explanation and uh, less of like practical examples than other books and obviously not that much visuals you will get like you get in head first uh, java right so it is basically for those for those developers who want a uh, in depth and good understanding of java and especially oops okay and advanced concepts are also covered in depth in this case so but if you want if you are someone looking for quick and um, practical way to just start coding in java it's not for you it's more of theoretical kind of thing okay okay the practical is also there but less theoretical explanation why things work is more in this book but it's like a story book kind of thing so if you are that kind of person then go for this book 
so these are i guess uh, the for beginners head first java and uh, those complete reference book and you can say that java beginners guide these are th three books are specially for beginners and complete reference for uh, experienced programmer as well but these last two books effective java and thinking in java if you are more on like a practical kind of thing real world java projects you want to do that thing and that kind of thing if you want to understand why things work conceptual clarity you want then you can go for these last two books so i hope this video will help you uh one or two more books are there but i just just wanted to cover the the best five books so that's why i think uh, that book um uh, core java sorry core java volume one that fundamentals that is also a good book for beginner so if you have that book core java volume one fundamentals that will also work but i would recommend for every students go for that one book complete reference java complete reference by herbert shield because that is really good book for beginner as well as for experienced programmers you will get in depth knowledge of everything there so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys you can just let me in comment section what book you have from these or you want to purchase and if you want me to upload more such kind of videos you can just let me know in comment section for which subject or for which you want best resources or the books okay i'll try to upload that video also so now that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care